Hey guys, 3D Wrecker here, back for another episode of Halo Combat Evolved, finally. Yeah. Uh, it's been like, what has it been? Like five months? Or four months or something? Anyways, we're up to part eight. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to do this for like, day, or not days, like, I tried doing it yesterday, but it didn't work, because OBS decided to not record, so, yeah, I'm just going to call it OB shit from now on. <laughs> yeah, anyways, let's get on with the campaign. <clears throat> Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Hog, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, really? Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Oh, yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. What impertinence. I shall purge you at once. You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? I'll... Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! Yeah, Spark is not nice. I'll twist lol.
We can't let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battle.net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Ow. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time, in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the Index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the Monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. Run. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. Oh, rocket launcher, baby. Hell yeah. Wait, we should commandeer one of those Banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Banshee, let's go. Yep, okay. Let's get moving. The nav point yeah. marks our target. So far, so good. That's the pulse generator. Okay. Lee? Oh. Objective accomplished. The pulse right. generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done.
sparking stuff to look tough. The second pulse generator is located in the adjacent canyon. Move out and I'll mark the target with a nav point when we get closer. We. Head through that door. Uh -huh. That's the way to the next canyon. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Hello. Goodbye.
I remember this when I did my legendary playthrough. I didn't record that, so you don't know. Run. Oh. Ammo. Ah, oh, the little potholes are coming. Ah, piss. There's a rocket one, I think. I'm going around this way. to deal with if you got a shoddy. Thanks, 
load. Okay, let's take care of the next pulse generator. Frag on you, or they're warning you that you're going off the edge. Hardly <laughs> bad.
nothing. And now, in here, there is Flood, I believe. Flood and Sentinels. Yeah, what am I up to? This is number two. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. I located the Pillar of Autumn. She put down 1,200 kilometers up spin. Energy readings show her fusion reactors are still powered up. That tunnel leads to the next section of canyon. The final pulse generator we need to destroy is through there.
Are you serious? Now I just need to somehow get through here for the ghost. Chasing after me. Oh, you know what? I can just buy him. As soon as I get out, just whip out my rocket launcher and just squish him. Oh, crushed by a banshee. How nice. Shorty, yes please. Give me that. Full shotgun and full rocket. And full grenades. No, go away. 
Oh. And done. Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves okay. about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. 